when so many people are hungry and dying, where do you start? We know there's enough to go around, but still, so much poverty. Where do you start? You start here. Leaders from 189 countries have signed up to end poverty. Make them keep their promise, now. We have a plan, the Millennium Development Goals. We have the money and the means. What we want is action. <coughs> Hunger, poverty, you look away. Eventually you stop seeing, you switch off. Get on with life. Goal one is to wipe out extreme poverty and hunger. Poor people are generally not very healthy. And if you are not healthy, you cannot work well. And you also spend money trying to get healthy. Anthony's wife, June, is consulting a healer. She has HIV AIDS. Keeping her alive takes everything they have. Does it mean you'll have to sell all of your harvest to pay for the treatment? <laughs> it will take more than that. Every year, the poor lose $16 billion worth of wages because they're too sick to work. You get poorer, hungrier, sicker, poorer. Getting rid of poverty means creating health. A healthy population is a much more useful uh, tool for development activities than, than an unhealthy one. People suffer or die because they can't afford medicine and vaccines. In this Bangladeshi clinic, they're low on even basic supplies. Dr. Chowdhury has a long-term treatment plan, a chair-making workshop. Simply doling out medicine doesn't create health. Employment has got a tremendous effect on the health care. So employment really leads to good housing, good sanitation, good eat, and good health. And that's why really we are creating more and more jobs at the rural level. Homegrown projects are often the best earners. Microcredit, small loan schemes, mean poor people can start up small businesses. This particularly helps women. We'll raise our sons and daughters equally. We'll, we'll raise our sons and daughters equally. equally. Earning money often gives women more power. Minara always used to give her husband the fish head as head of the household. Not anymore. Sometimes I eat the head. Sometimes my husband does and sometimes the children. Whatever I give him, he eats. Where women have more power, their families tend to eat better and be better educated. Factors that have cut the number of children dying in this village by a quarter. People are much more conscious now and so they are healthier. Everyone dreams about doing lots of things, lots of things to help their children. This child is not growing well physical or mental, and this will uh, affect her if she is not well treated now. Basma has anemia, the world's most common nutritional problem. She'll be okay. She's getting supplements from the Egyptian government. But every year, 300 million kids don't get enough food. You can't have economic growth when your future is starving. Poverty is not created by poor people. Poverty is created by institutions that we build, policies that we pursue, concepts that we create. And the reverse is also true. Under the goals, rich countries have agreed to make trade practices fairer, to give more aid and to write off poor countries' debt, so poor countries can make the changes needed. Goal number one is achievable. If each one of us plays our part and we put money where our mouths are, and also in the developed world, if policies are developed that can support this goal. Goal one, eradicating extreme hunger and poverty. It's a chance we can't afford to miss. The Millennium Development Goals. Make our leaders keep their promises. Eight goals, one world, no excuses.